planting the right seeds. Farmers evaluate the weather and soil conditions. They look to the past and do a lot of guesswork about the future. What if a machine learning engine could do it for them? Machine learning is a driving force behind artificial intelligence, but on the farm, it's not all there just yet, at least not in the planning stages of crops. That draws on big data to do the work. Two Washington University and St. Louis researchers at Olin Business School have devised a computational model so farmers and seed makers could take the guesswork out of which variety of seeds to plant each year. In this research, uh, we are predicting the yield of soybean. So we built uh, machine learning models to make predictions. Because of the software's simulation tools, they call it SimSoy. But once they collect data on seeds for other types of crops such as corn, they hope to name it SimSeed. Millions of children die every year because of shortage of food. So it's important to, you know, increase the yield, you know, as much as possible. They're developing the web tool for farmers to use on their laptops as well as a mobile version for smartphones. One set of data comes from the seed companies because it has a lot of seed varieties and it has tested these seeds many years on different farms. Another data set would be this individual farm's information, individual farm's location and the soil conditions on different plots based on machine learning, based on the optimization, make tailored, customized recommendation for this particular farmer. The researchers show how simply seed selection can become in the near future by using data from seed makers and farms in various geographical areas. Weather conditions are represented in prediction models, eliminating human guesswork. Suppose we plant two seed varieties, variety A and variety B. Under ideal conditions, variety A outperforms variety B. When weather condition is not so ideal, snow flurries, extra cold winter or spring, variety B that outperforms variety A. We plant all the different varieties in our uh, research, uh, 1 to 182 uh, different varieties. We simulate yield of each variety under 1,000 different weather conditions that uh, historically happened around that farm. And at the end of uh, simulation, we get the yield of each of those 182 varieties for each of those 1,000 different weather conditions. He says it also helps farmers make choices to diversify their fields, much like choosing stocks for your investment portfolio. If I have a million dollars, how do I split my million dollars between different stocks? If they're okay to grow up to, say, five varieties in their farm, how do I divide my land between these five varieties? First of all, what are those five varieties? And how do I split my land between those five varieties? And for the rollout to happen, they're working on the next step. Uh, to talk to companies that uh, they will be interested in providing data. For a lot of companies, this is uh, something that will be very valuable to them. Like seed sellers and seed companies, they want to help farmers too. They want to be able to make recommendations to farmers. Then seed makers would offer the tool to farmers, helping them choose the best seeds for their land. This tool will empower them to make informed decision that is scientifically based. For HEC, I'm Kathleen Berger.